again. All bets down. What's the matter, Johnny? Quitting? Yeah, that wheel of yours is too well trained. Now, isn't that too bad? I want to talk to you, Johnny. Will you spare me a little of your time? Just as little as possible. That's more than I need. How about the ten grand you owe me? I'll bite. How about it? Your horse lost, didn't he? Just the same, I don't owe you a cent. How do you figure that, Johnny? My way. When my dough's on a horse and I find out he's been doped, I declare all bets off. Welching, eh? Better handle that gardenia gentle. It might turn into a lily. Is that a threat? It's an idea. Hang on to it, then. They don't come often. Forget about that ten grand, Clarky. Well, my old friend, Pastor Fielding. How are you? Fit as a fiddle. And uh, ready to go. Royal Arms Hotel. I gotta be going, boy. Going downtown, Johnny? Yeah, would you drop me at the hotel? Where? Fine. Well, thanks, fellas. All right. I may be about 15 minutes late, but that's all. What? No, I couldn't hear you, Lieutenant. <laughs> you see, a car just backfired around the corner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Goodbye. My wife! She's dying. Where's the taxi? A ta Why didn't you say so? <whistles> taxi! Taxi! <whistles> taxi! Just a minute. Oh, hello, Joe. Get oh. that in. Get out of here. Uh, this man's in an awful hurry. Now, if any of the cops tried to stop you, just tell him Hugo Myers said it was okay. Now, step on it. Okay, Hugo. Hey! What? See a man running? Oh, he just bumped into me. Where'd he go? <laughs> I just put him in a taxi cab, poor fellow. His wife's dying. Wife's dying? You flathead, he just killed Johnny Corendi. What? Killed Johnny Corendi? Why, he just told... Did you get a good look at him? No, he knocked over. Did you notice the license number of the cab? No, I didn't think of that. Well, try it sometime, will you? Let's wait a minute here. <laughs> you know, I gotta make a report. We'll report it ourselves. You go back to sleep. Craig at the post, talking. No, miss, Mr. Johnson isn't here right now, but I'll take the story. Well, this is a news association. No scoops around here. We share everything. Oh, a personal matter. Well, that's all right. We share those, too. Now, couldn't I... The little vinegar puss. Oh, enter the Speed King. Don't crowd him, boys. He'll mow you down. Ladies and gentlemen, Flash Johnson. He just won another sleepwalking contest. How do you get that way, Johnson? Interviewing the last three couples left in the marathon pass. You guys bring any news in today? No, but uh, Grayson's covering a murder. Well, unless it's good and bloody, don't wake me up. Hello, Mortis. Is this a private leak, or can I cry too? He's not dead, he's just normal. What about that murder? What murder? Didn't you get anything at headquarters? Lieutenant Duffy let me in on a little sports item. Sports item? What about that shooting? We heard on the radio that... Okay, Muggs. According to two eyewitnesses, John Carinty, gambler known as Full House Johnny, was shot down by an unidentified assailant. City desk. Rewrite. Pick a flash. Get this, Jerry. Full House Johnny meets a straight flush. Another victim falls in gambling war. Yep, Washington the ninth. The escaping killer was helped into a taxi by that gracious officer, Hugo Meyer, of headquarters station. Here's a hot angle. Copies killer to escape. Feature Hugo Meyer, the murderer's friend. Why, certainly I'm falling from the scene of the murder. My shoes are spattered with blood. 
City Editor. While shooting your friends, always pause and call the nearest cop. He'll hail your taxi. Hello, Sadie. Let me have the boss, will you? Of course, Mr. Chase is busy, and of course, I'll wait. But not over ten years. Hello, Grayson. How's the old insubordinate? Got anything? Yeah? 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 So they got Full House Johnny, eh? That's swell. Why? Because I owed him a hundred bucks. Patrolman Hugo Meyer helped him to get away, huh? Wait till Dapper Desmond, the civilian cop, get the load of the headline I'm gonna write for him. I wouldn't stir up that war with Desmond again, Harry, especially now that he's police commissioner. Why not? Didn't he help put me out of business when I had my own paper? Now I'm gonna sock it to him. Like this. While uncontrolled crime stalks at large... No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it, I got it. Take this, Eddie. Listen, Bob. The Express warned its readers what to expect when a silk-stocking politician had himself appointed police commissioner. Tonight proves what we've said before of the Honorable Frank Desmond, whose policeman helps crooks to escape. How's that for a lead on a page one editorial, Grayson? You better go easy, Harry. You'll get the paper in a jam. It's tough enough to get news now without antagonizing the whole police department. All right, you're the boss. Oh, <laughs> boy, I'd hate to be in the police commissioner's office when he reads the Express tomorrow morning. Desmond's cop aids murderer. Hmm. Chase? Just been reading this yellow sheet of yours. So what? You calling to tell me you can read? Just called to tell you that you're not helping the public by ridiculing the police department. Don't cry, Commissioner. Things are bad all over. Looks like you're holding the bag, Frank. Remember, this department can get along without your publicity. You're going to find it hard to publish your rag without news. That's a real nice talk. I like Burton Holmes better, though. He carries slides. Hi, son. Hello, oh, Bob. Sergeant Duffy of Duffy, Duffy and Duffy. What's the news today? Hello, what's this? Come, come. Give me, give me. Sorry, but... Oh, no, don't be bashful, Duffy. Give out. i got to work up a story. You'll have to take just what's on the blotter, Bob. Two ink spots, one blot, and a dash. I get it. It's spirit writing. Uh -uh, pardon me. Wrong page. An unknown man is being held for an unknown crime. Is it murder, arson, or just playing in the streets? I can't tell you a thing. Honest. I don't want anything honest. Tell me what you got. I can't. Commissioner's orders. Verbally and in writing. I'm sorry, Bob, but you'll never get any more news from the police department. No? Don't make any bets on that. So long, Duffy. Hello, Blair. I can see the commissioner. Not a chance, Mr. Grayson. No reporter. Or tramps. I know. I got to see him. You can't. Those are his orders. Rude, I call it. Unsportsmanlike. Unequivocal. Blair, I'm going to see him. Not a chance, I tell you. Not a chance, huh? Didn't Mr. Desmond make a statement three years ago when he was commissioner of public safety that he'd see any private citizen with a just complaint? Yes, so I'm a private citizen with a just complaint. Call him and tell him I demand a hearing. But, uh, can't do any harm to ask. Mr. Grayson is here. The Express? Yes, but... I said I wouldn't see any reporters. I'm a private citizen as well as a reporter, Mr. Desmond, and I have a grievance. I know what it is. Take it up with Chase. I don't care to discuss it. You've got a right to be sore, but your order hits the wrong people. It doesn't hurt the editors. It's the police reporters who catch it. If we can't get cooperation... With cooperation? <laughs> what help have we got from your reporters? Take this gambling war that's been going on. Three killings in as many months. And have you fellows helped this department? No. You've hindered it with stuff like this. My order stands, Grayson. That's final. I'll make a deal with you, Commissioner. You lift the ban, and I'll make it my business to see that no unfavorable publicity touches you. I'll make a deal with you. You get out of here, so I won't have to throw you out. I've been in office two days. And yours is the second bribe that's been offered me. I'm going to clean this town if I have to sweep you all up with the rest of the mud. Now get out. Okay, Mr. Commissioner, you show me where you stand, now I'll show you. It's not the police, it's the press that runs this town. We'll get news and right from your own department. But boys, I tell you, we're absolutely cut off. We're out. Just like your last match on a windy night. I can't get a thing. I've covered every police station in town and got nothing but drunks and disorderlies. Calling car 18, calling car 18. 
Wait a minute, one of the boys is coming in with police news now. Go to 68 Hillside Avenue. There's a skunk in the lady's backyard. Bring in the skunk, that is all. Just a personal call, boss. All right, we'll keep on trying. Where are you been? Coroner's inquest. Over the body of Commissioner Desmond, I hope. No, John Doe number 46 found dead in Samson's pawn shop. It's getting so tough, they're hugging dead men. What did you get? What a day. Nothing but blisters on both feet. We'll all have blisters if Harry Chase keeps writing love notes to Desmond in the Express. Did you ever see a dream walking? Well, you got the right about him. Poetry. <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> These chairs are real hard, dear madam. They're probably made of macadam. But after a year awaiting news here, I'll bet we'll be glad that we had them. Oh, well, I asked for it. It's Kipling. It's genius. It's off. It's terrible. Thank you. The only thing that's come my way today. Someone you wish to see? You remember me, don't you? Your prodigal son, Robert Grayson? Oh, yeah. You used to be a reporter. Where you been? Trying to get into jail again. No luck. Even a jail's got to draw the line somewhere. I seem to be poison around here. It's your paper got us all hamstrung. The Herald's got no fight with Desmond. Nor any of our papers. You got us into this. It's up to you to get us out of it. Ah, it's no use, fellas. I even tried to commission him with oil and soap and he wouldn't come through. Practically defied me to spring a leak for news in his department. Are you passing up the suggestion? Ah, uh, uh, not Mrs. Grayson's little boy. I'll spring that leak if I have to blast. You wouldn't think a guy could shut off the news the way he has. He's a plumber at heart. Oh, well, pull yourselves together. We'll find a way. What do you mean, we? You'll find a way. Call in car nine. Call in car nine. Go six eight Hillside Avenue. Help the officers there bring in the skunk. That is all. That thing's a lot of help. We funded up all those calls. We get nothing but a boring out for wasting our time. I meet with a one o'clock deadline to meet. <laughs> News, but not for us. Calling car 71, calling car 7171 at Norton and Prairie Avenue is an accident, that is all. We'll have to go all the way out there to find out if it's a bad accident. How far is it? Two weeks in a covered wagon. Shut up, you guys. Give Bob a chance. Can you see he's got an idea? Come on, boy, get that trick memory going. Dry up, will you? Prairie and Norton, Prairie and Norton. Neighborhood market on one corner, drugstore directly opposite, garage facing the drugstore. Uh, popular garage, no. Uh, People's garage, that's it. What People's a brain. Garage. What a memory. Northfield, 9221. Oh, there's really nothing to it. Why, anybody can do it after taking a correspondence memory course from... Uh, your grandmother. Uh, yes, I know, no. Hello, hello, what can you tell me about that accident in front of your garage? Thanks. The driver crashed into the drugstore full speed. Killed himself and the clerk in the store. Come on, we'll pick up a cameraman on the way. Shh. desk. This is Johnson talking. At the corner of Prairie and Norton Avenues, an unidentified drunk driver crashed into the drugstore, killing himself and the clerk, and sending others to the hospital. I'll give you the names as soon as I can get them. Yes, I'm phoning right from the scene of the wreck. Oh, it's heart-rending, heart-rending. Must have been killed instantly. Mm -hmm. We take a look at the other one. Now wait a minute. Oh yes. Yeah. Open up here. Open up here. Back here. Back. Back. Anyway. Hello, Hugo. What are you doing way out here? Just keeping the keys in a bunch of empty lots. Oh, reduced, huh? In the house. Sorry, old man. Who's in charge? Oh, that Irish of Flanagan. Oh. Man. Now wait a minute. Evening, Lieutenant. Who's the reckless driver? Well, the commission is orders on. We can't give you fellas information. But he said nothing about keeping you from getting it for yourselves. Thanks, Lieutenant. That's all I wanted to know. Well, boys. What about a little teamwork? Murphy, you get the identification off the customers. Ham, you and Craig grab some eyewitness stories on the outside. O'Shea, it's your turn to handle the bodies while Ernie gets the mugshots. And what are you gonna do? Watch me, boy. You may learn something. 
I teach her to manage. Up the daisy. That's the little man. Okay, Ernie. Fire when ready. Oh, Shay, did you get a load of that guy? Who is he? Gun from one of the biggest gamblers in town. What of it? Plenty, I hope. Stand by and watch me go to work, young fellow. I think I can get a leak from police headquarters and look like Boulder Dam on the loose. Hugo, Hugo. Come here, I want to talk to you. Sure. Don't forget, don't try to come back in. You know, Hugo, they gave you a pretty raw deal when they transferred you out here. You said it. All these empty lots give me the blues. I, I feel like I ain't got any friends anymore. I can take you out of these meadows and put you right back at headquarters. Gee, I wish you could. I can't stay here. It's, it's too lonesome. If you play ball with the newspapers, you'll probably end up by being commissioner. Me? Yeah, we need somebody at headquarters to give us the inside dope on police news. I know, but I ain't at headquarters anymore. No, but you will be if you stick with me when the boys are getting back of you and boost you to the skies. Beginning right now, you'd be famous. One of the biggest detectives on the force. That is, if you'll do what we want. Sure, but... Uh... What do you want me to do? Just give us the police news and consult me on how to handle all your cases. Oh, I see. I tell you what's happening and then you tell me that... Yeah. I know, but what if I don't know what to do and you wasn't there, then what? Uh, uh, oh, I never thought of that. Well, let's see. Uh, say something like, I'll think it over and let you know later. I get it. Think it over, let you know later. It's a deal. It's a pushover. Now I'll give you the lowdown on this wreck. Listen carefully and don't forget a thing I tell you. Yes, sir. The man in that car was Passer Fielding. Passer, Passer who? Passer Fielding. Hello. Here's what you have to do. Hello, Carter. Uh, here's your work all laid out for you. That's fine, Bob. We've had enough of this. Come on. Stick around, fellas. Something's up. Spring it right away, Hugo. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Uh, now, officer, can't you see I'm busy with this accident? Accident? <laughs> That's no accident. That's murder. What do you mean it's murder? Why, it's simple as... Well, murder. come on, give me your reason for saying it's murder. Well, in the first place, there's a big gambling war going first on. First it's murder, now it's gambling. Get on with it. Well, I know who the driver is. All right, who is he? Why, he's a... Uh, he's a... Uh, he's a big gambler. Yes, sir. His name is... Uh, his, uh, <laughs> it's funny, it was just on the tip of my... Well, come on, let's have his name. Yes, sir. It's, uh, the name, it's, uh, <clears throat> I got it. Passer Fielding. Well, suppose he is Passer Fielding. How does that prove murder? Uh, uh, that's right, I don't. But I got reasons to believe he was dead before the smash-up. You mean it was a cover-up job? Sure, he was already dead when they put him in the wheel. He was drunk. No, sir. They spilled the whiskey on his overcoat. Well, what was the motive? Why was he killed? I don't know, unless it was on account of that last murder. You know, uh, Full House Johnny? Do you yes. suspect anyone? Lay off, boys. Let him alone. Now, see here. Yes, sir. You say you have reasons to believe he was dead before the wreck. Sure. Just what are they? Well, uh... Where uh, is this other body? Huh? Over in the car, Doc, over there. Now, oh, come on. Tell me how you know he was dead before the accident. Well, I, uh... I'll think it over and let you know later. You will what? What's the matter with you going nuts? No, but I am. You see, Lieutenant, I, I had it all figured out a couple of minutes ago, but now... Are oh. you drunk or just crazy? Crazy? What do hey, you mean? Uh, huh? Didn't you say the accident happened half an hour ago? That's right. That body's cold. I'd say death occurred at least eight hours ago. Well, that's what Meyer was just telling the Lieutenant. Sure. And he wasn't drunk? No, sir. The whiskey was spilled out of him. You bet your life. You see? What did I tell you? Come on, boys. Let's get a picture of Officer Meyer in the act of discovering the murder. Right this way. Oh, you Here we go. Just uh, reach in and appear to be examining it. Oh. Uh, don't be afraid. No, no, no. Take it out here by myself. Uh, like this. Ready? Congratulations, officer. We need men like you at headquarters. Johnny's pals are behind this. Do you think so? I know so. Now, here's a tip. What'll I do, Bob? Well, let me see. I got it. Listen. Big 
case, I'll think it over and let you know later. Sure this information's on the level, Hugo? Straight from the feed box, on the best of authority. Okay, give me everything you get. I will. You kept your promise with me. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thanks, Donovan. Okay. Sure, I never saw a man rise so fast in the department before. How did you do it? Just brain work. The trouble with you fellas is you don't use your heads. Meyer, huh. Commissioner wants you to report to him right away. <clears throat> okay. Lieutenant Meyer. You sent for me, Commissioner? Yes, come in. Someone in this department is disobeying my order to withhold police news from the press. Look at that. Commissioner Desmond plans shake-up. Well, they know what I'm going to do before I do it. I believe, Meyer, that you're the man to uh, plug this leak. Yes, sir. It's a very important assignment. The first I've given you since your recent uh, promotion. I expect results. Have you any idea who, who the leak might be, sir? Yes, I have. But I want proof. Yes, sir. Just leave it to me, Commissioner. What's the matter, Lieutenant? I'll think it over and let you know later. She's wide open for two cents. Oh, cash and carry Hamilton. I'll bump it a nickel. Keep the grocery clerks out. Same as mighty high stakes, partner. Keep them hands above the board. Give me three and make them all alike. Hamilton speaking. I'll play these. What do you do, bring them with you intact? Don't get excited, Chief. The police news is due right now. Call you back just as soon as our man gets here. Well, well but this is our old stand down on the Greenland love murder. I was Captain Monaghan kicked out of the department. What's Dapper Desmond doing these days? Come on, Meyer, give. Yeah, give until it hurts. That's just the trouble. I, I can't give you fellas any more news. What? No, the commissioner's ordered me to find out where the news leak in the department is coming from and plug it up, so... I'm starting to plug. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That's a pep. <laughs> what a story. <laughs> How they print that? What's funny about that? You are the fellas that got me in Dutch with the commissioner. Does he suspect you, Hugo? I think he does. So you'll get no more news from me for at least a month. What? 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 For a whole Why, month? that's impossible. Oh, you can't do that. that. I'll say you can't. Who put you where you are today? We did. And if you lay down on us, we're going to undo the job. You are going... Who do you think you are? Say, don't you realize that I'm a big shot? Oh, yeah? Where would you be if Grayson let go of your hand? Why, you ungrateful Frankenstein? That settles it. I help you, then you insult me. Now I'll never give you any more news. Oh, wait, Meyer, please. Yes, yeah, you better cut out that gambling, too. I'm liable to come back here with a bag and pinch the whole bunch of you. Don't you realize that you're violating ordinance number seven? Mind your own business. Well, I'll be... Well, there goes our leak. Don't give up the ship, boys, till she's sunk. Hugo, Hugo, wait a minute. Oh, now don't take it that way. The boys were only ribbing you. Well, I'm not going to take any more ribbing from a lot of cheap reporters. From now on, I'm looking out for myself. Oh, that's tough. I was just going to cut you in on the hottest deal you've ever had yet. Why, this was so gigantic. So what? Gigantic. Tremendous. You mean big? Big? I say. This would have put you in so solid with Desmond, why, you'd have had him eating out of your hand. <laughs> I'd like that. Why, sure you would. You know how anxious he is to break up that gambling ring. Why, this will be the biggest thing you've ever done yet. You know, I wouldn't steer you wrong. No. Well, uh, I'll think it over and let you know later. Now, how are you going to think it over? I haven't told you what it is yet. Will you do it? Well, uh, uh, what is it? Look, the boys and I will be in Clarkie's Cafe about 1 a.m. That's where you come in. Sit 
anywhere, boys. <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> no place card? Gee, some joint, tell <laughs> some class. I bet you even pay for the air you breathe in here. While my guests are deciding, bring champagne cocktails all around. Huh? Yeah. Gee, I, I, I feel faint. You are sick, are you, Bob? Come on, Bob, dress up. You can't fool an old timer. You're the guy that stuck up that bank this afternoon. Hey, if you're going public enemy on us, I'd be satisfied with hamburgers. Sit down. So don't you think you better call the waiter back and make it beer? Gentlemen, it has long been my conviction that reporters, as a class, are misunderstood, downtrodden. Hey, right. We're entitled to greater rewards in life than the curses of ungrateful editors. Right. Right. Therefore, my friends, I conjure you, on this night of nights, eat, drink, and be merry without stint. After dinner speeches, before dinner. Now I know the guys, Coco. Uh, you know, she loves me. She loves me now. She loves me. She loves me now. She loves me. She loves me now. There was a young lady from Seattle. Was so thin when she walked, she would rattle. <laughs> so skinny and tall, she had no shape at all. Except her Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't do the whole. Gentlemen, you, you touch me. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Oh. <coughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, I've waited all my life for this moment. <laughs> uh, oh, um, caviar to uh, start with. Uh, oysters, uh, green turtle soup, and uh, rest of the pheasant uh, under a uh, glass. <clears throat> glass always gives me indigestion. Make mine a uh, steak, with uh, <sighs> smothered with onions. Common, uh, common. Pheasant under glass. Bring champagne all around. Uh, Mum's extra dry. <laughs> I feel like a chorus oh. girl. <laughs> oh, <I don't. laughs> hey, there's a catch in this somewhere. Are you sure this is on you, Bob? Well, not exactly on me. Well, well, what do you mean? mean? Oh, we want to get out of here. This is on the house, gentlemen. We'll never see the check. I made a big deal with Meyer. He's going to raid this place at one o'clock on the dot. Oh, yeah. oh. Now that is Smart all. Right. Are, you know. Know. Hey, Are you sure of that? Positive. Waiter. I want a box of cigars. Corona, Corona. Yeah, waiter. Bring me some cigarettes. Gold tip. Waiter. Headache powders for tomorrow. No, no, waiter. Uh, buy a of soda. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 Boy. Oh, here, wait a minute. Oh, very deep, very deep. You big slug. Why don't you look where you're going? You speaking to me? Uh, uh, certainly not. Uh, may I help you? Oh, uh, can I have? Race to the rescue. I'm quite all right, Bailey. I don't need your help at all. Well, if you're going to sit there, uh, do you mind if I join you? Well, you certainly made a hit, Bob. Oh, well, anyway, the hit. Bob made the catch. Yeah, looks like a lateral pass from my feet. <laughs> Gee, Bob, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have knocked that lady down for it. It's all right, Ernie. You just keep knocking them down, and I'll keep picking them up. An orchid to you. I wonder who she is. I never saw her before. Well, I have, somewhere, sometime. Oh, probably in the Drotico Pierre section. Mm, you're getting well, warm. She's society, all right. I'm sure of that. Let me see. Too, too bad the joint's going to get pinched. She's too stylish to throw in the who's girl. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. She's probably here just slumming. Well, how do you like that? Here, I've been figuring her as one of the 400, and she's here with Phil Zarius. He's the guy that defied the grand jury last week. Refused to testify he was a gambler. Well, you can hardly blame him, can you? And I figured his gal is one of the upper crust. <laughs> Hello, Phil. Where you been? Haven't seen you in a long while. I'm all right, Clarky. I'll see you later. Sure. Whenever you like. Shall we try the wheel? Yes, I'd like to. Hey, 
by the way, I don't want to spoil the party, but what time did you say my hour was coming? Precisely one o'clock. Well, it happens to be ten minutes after one right now. What? 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 Mr. Grayson. Yes? You're wanted on the phone, sir, in the booth. Thank you. Best laid Lord. plans of mice and men. Hello? Hello, Meyer. Say, where the devil are you? I've thought it over, and uh, I'm not going to raid that joint. But, Meyer, I've got the boys here from all the papers. Yeah, I've got the cameraman to photograph you leaving the raid. But, Meyer, you've got to go through with this. You can't walk out on me now. <laughs> but I'm not walking. I'm sitting comfortably at home, if you please. And that's where I stay. Oh, Hugo, you can't let me down. Look what I've done for you. Why, your career has been my every thought. I don't care for myself. It's you. I want to put you where you rightly belong, right at the top of the heap. I'm doing pretty good right now. <laughs> Ain't I a detective lieutenant? Why, Hugo, that's nothing. This is the biggest chance for a public hero since Lindbergh flew the Atlantic. Pull this off while you'd be right in line for police commissioner, mayor. If you play your cards the way I deal them, I won't stop till I put you in the governor's mansion. I'll think it over and let you know later. Governor. Think of it. Lieutenant, captain, commissioner, mayor, then governor. <laughs> what a man. Hello, Duffy. This is your old pal Bob Grayson speaking from Clarkie's Cafe. Duffy, gambling is running wild here. We haven't received any complaints. Well, what do you think this is, an Indian love call? Send a raiding squad right away. No, no, I'm not giving you orders, just a tip that if you don't follow it, tomorrow morning's express will make your hair curl. Yes, yes, I know it was Meyer's job. He had all the information, but he was too tired to come out. How's that going to look in print? Swell to me. Meyer's is getting too important to live with. He's due for a fall. Oh, you're in a jam, eh? Well, get yourself in it. <coughs> Come on, come on, don't keep us in suspense. When is the rescue party coming? Not coming. Myers changed his mind. Oh, oh boys, oh. let us be death like men. Oh. Who's got some money? We need a lot of it to get out of here. Sir, we are newspaper men. You know any more riddles? No, but I know how a man in Clarkie's game collects. It's not pleasant. Uh-uh. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, yes, everything's just dandy. Thank you, sir. It's Mr. Clarkie's aim to please. That's what we were just discussing, Mr. Clarkie's aim. Yes. Your check, sir. When I want the check, I'll ask for it. But, sir. Bring some more champagne all around. Some, some more. Very well, sir. <clears throat> How much was it? Two hundred and sixty-four dollars and ninety-eight cents. Uh, oh. oh. It's here. It must be stuffy in here, you know. Well, we've got to get some money. How much have you got? Ninety-eight cents. Roughly speaking, that leaves two hundred and sixty-four. Roughly speaking. Say, Bob, do you think they'll let you have anything on this? How much have you got, Johnson? See how much he's got. Ah, get out of there. I got five bucks and they're all mortgaged. Anything wrong with the bill, sir? Why, no, not at all. Just, uh, just a little premature. Your waiter goes off duty at one, and he'd like to take care of this before leaving. Oh, that's all right. He doesn't have to bother. Just turn it over to the waiter who takes his place. Yeah, just sure. turn it over to the other way. But you understand how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And of course, uh, see me later. I'll explain it to Mr. Clarkie. Perhaps he'll see you later. <clears throat> What's going to happen to us now? Now, Mr. Mastermind, you got us into this. How are you going to get us out? I've got it. Roulette. I'll try the wheel. I got a system that never fails. Oh, <laughs> he has a system. And it never fails. He solved the problem. Yeah. May the <laughs> blessings of Allah shower down upon you. Yeah. Here's my file. There's mine. A couple of slugs. You would. Well, it's mine. All right. Come on, boys. Thank you. Come on, Johnson. Bring that five bucks out in the open. Don't be afraid if it's followed by a swarm of moths. We'll fight them off. You Judas, you said you had a five. This is a ten spot. Can I help it if I'm modest? So long. Pardon me, I'll be back in a minute. Hello. Having any luck? 
I was up to now. From now on, it'll get better. I've got a system. So I've noticed. I don't mind you back. It's not bad. What number are you going to play? I'm not in the habit of talking to strange men. Spoken like a duchess. Only don't waste it on me. I happen to know you're here with Phil Zarius. And even if you were properly introduced to him, he's a very strange man. Oh, go away. Uh, uh, I've got a hunch you're going to be lucky to me. I'm going to stay right here and play exactly what you play. All bets down. Fourteen red. Okay, sister, you can't be right all the time. Afraid to try again? No, not afraid. Financially embarrassed. <laughs> that clean me. Stupid to gamble when you can't afford it. Look here. I'll stake you if you play at some other table. Your advice and generosity are extremely touching. But I'm not used to either one. So long, Duchess. And you're doing all right for yourself, Phil? Uh, why shouldn't I? I mean, the gal you're with. Still looking them over, are you? Why not? I'll tell you why not. Well, she's real society. Her father's one of the biggest men in town. Then where do you fit into the picture? Uh, don't worry about my social life. Come on, come across. No dice. You can't kid me, big boy. I know there's an honest commissioner at headquarters. You aren't passing any gravy upstairs. <laughs> I never said I was. Then if you've got no protection, what's the idea of selling it? I'm selling protection against accidents. You'd better buy some for yourself. <clears throat> it's those reporters. You'll uh, pardon me, Phil. Sure. I never dreamed Meyer would let me down. Button up your bulletproof vest, boys. Here comes the big shot. I'll stall. Start talking. Say something. Uh, uh, <coughs> have you uh, read any good books lately? Well, one of my first editions are... The head waiter tells me there's been a little uh, trouble about your bill. Well, not at all. I just don't intend to pay it. Uh, that is, until I'm ready. How long will it take you to get ready? Well, uh, let me see. Um, I advise you to pay your bill right now. Why, uh... Pay it. Hey, by a bell. Everybody stay where they are. idea. You. <laughs> you snake in the grass. Phoning to headquarters and telling them I was too tired to go out, eh? Well, it got you here. Uh, got, got me in Dutch. Duffy reported me to the commission and he almost took my head off. Oh, don't worry, Hugo. I'll fix that up for you. You'll do nothing for me. And from now on, I do nothing for you. We are quit. Okay, Hugo, I'll be seeing you. Back in the vacant lot. In the vacant Come on, go. Hey, wait a minute. Stand back, stand back. Everybody, stay back. Gangway for the press. Gangway. That girl, snap her, honey, quick. In the gambling room, quick, honey. Hey, what? wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do you get that way, Ernie's the express cameraman. I know, I know, but Clarky's been murdered. What? Are you sure? Better than a mackerel. A bullet right through the heart. Okay, Ernie, get some shots of the body and rush him to the express. Right. Hey, you. Lay off the press, son. Come on, the rest of you. Please. Oh, hello. Are you still following me? I've got to get out of here. Can you help me? Well, that's all I've been trying to do since I first saw you. I look so scared. But I am scared, terribly. Well, you needn't be with me. That's right. Just keep looking like an ad for toothpaste and you'll be all right. Here. Take this press badge. Stick it in your purse. If anybody gets curious, you're now Miss Smith doing special coverage on the Express. Oh, uh, hey, Craig, uh, cover me if anything breaks, will you? Yeah, sure. That's funny. I never saw him pass up his job for a girl before. Ah, neither did I. Hey, wait a minute. What's this? Oh, uh, this is Miss Smith, Lieutenant, doing special coverage on the Express. This is Lieutenant Meyer, who led the raid. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You did splendid work. Oh, that's nothing. That's my job, making the city safe for 
charming ladies like yourself. Meyer, you amaze me. Now, how did you ever think of that? I'll think it over and let you know later. Murphy, let these two pass. They're okay. How did I ever think of that? <laughs> As a rule, I like adventure, but it came a bit too fast tonight. Thanks all for getting me out of there. Thank you. I had a hunch you were going to be lucky to me. <laughs> Don't be silly. I did nothing. Nothing? Oh, I've known a lot of you gals in my time, but you're the slickest proposition. Is that meant to be a compliment? Take it any way you like, baby. Say, who are you, anyway? Where shall I drop you? Not me. I don't drop that easily. We're sticking together. The evening's just begun. I don't think I quite like your attitude. I think yours is swell. But you don't fool me, baby. Where did you tell him to go to? To my mountain retreat. Oh, you're going to like it now. Got a lovely kitchenette. Say, can you cook? When we get there, you get out. We are there, and we're both getting out. You just try to make me. <laughs> there you go, flattering yourself again. Oh, gee, I forgot. I'm broke. Go ahead, driver. I'll pay you when... Yes, give me my purse. Keep the change, driver. My wife and I are always battling over money. Okay, buddy. Hope you'll win. Thank you. Sorry, this is a loan, not a hold-up. Here's my watch for security. I don't want your old watch, and you can keep the money. We'll talk about that upstairs. Come on. If you think I'm going into that apartment, you're crazy. Going in, sweetheart? You're moving in. Don't you dare! Hey, let me go. Put me down. I'll have you arrested. I'll call the police. You hear what I say? Let me down. Let me down. With pleasure. This is harder on me than it is on you. How dare you lock me in here? Oh, now stop acting. You're wearing me down. And if you go into that kill me if you must, but spare my good name routine, I'll spank you. Open this door, do you hear me? Now get this straight. I'm just the reporter and you're good copy. I'm the press and you're the news. Oh, is that why you brought me here? Well, not just what did you expect. Well... Uh, uh, don't tell me. Let me guess. Hello. Hello, city desk. Hello, Harry. This is Grayson. Romeo Grayson. What do you mean walking out with a dame when there's a murder to cover? All right, pipe down and listen. I got the scoop of the ages. We'll get on in history with this one. They'll build monuments to us. Don't tell him about me, please. Yes, yes. I know Clarky was bumped off, but here's something you don't know. A dame did it, and I've got the dame. The murderess? And in your apartment? Sweetheart, you're the answer to an editor's prayer. Why'd she kill him? Get me her story. What's her name? I didn't do it, I tell you. Huh? Uh, no, I don't know, but Ernie got a picture of her. How's this for a caption? Express cameraman snaps gun girl in action. You're lying. Don't you realize uh, what you're doing? Yeah, I'll find out all right. Yeah, I've been trying to place her all evening. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it'll come to me in a minute. Well, get it somehow. I don't care whether you beat her or make love to her, but get it. I'll give you a bonus. Two hundred dollars. Anything. But get it. Press room. Hold the front page for a new makeup. Shift all cables to page two. Clear 14 and 15 for all carryovers. What's that? Advertising. You know what you can do with that. Get me the lab. You've done a dreadful thing to me. If this gets into the papers... Now stop clowning and talk turkey. Who are you? What's your name? I'll never tell you. You let me out of here or you'll get into trouble. I'll get into trouble. You're the one that's in trouble. If you're smart, you'll come clean and tell me everything. So you can smear my name all over the front pages. You reporters are a lot of vultures. Don't you realize I'm on the spot too? If I turn you over to the police, I'll get no story. Just what's on the blotter. If you play ball with me, I'll help you. I'll fix it for you to write your own story. For the Express? It's just too funny. Well, there's nothing funny about it. You make a lot of dough enough to get yourself a really good lawyer. Now, come on, give me the lowdown. Who are you and why did you shoot Clark? You've got to believe me. I don't know anything about the murder. No? Then why the gun on your hand? Were you going to powder your nose with it? You want to Zarius' mob, aren't you? Of course not. I don't even know who Zarius is. He was just introduced to me. We were at the same party this evening. <laughs> oh, but that was some party. He suggested that we should both go to Clark's. Never having been there, I thought it might be... All right, all right. Now, come on. Get down to the shooting. There's more in this than meets the eye. Where is that fellow, Grace? With the girl he took out of there. No, he wouldn't be chasing around with a dame when he's got work to do. He's too smart. That's it. He's plenty smart. Maybe that dame murdered Clarkie. That's why he did the fade out with her. You've hit it. He's got her hidden somewhere. The boy ain't holding out on it. Let's phone at the apartment. Maybe he's got it. Oh, phone nothing. He wouldn't answer if she's with him. Let's go there. Cool. We're making nothing flat. Up. 
after the raid started, I was all confused. Zarius came running toward me, said, take this. Shoved something into my hand, it was a gun. The police were coming. Yes, 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 I know the rest. And if you've told me the truth, Zarius's fingerprints must still be on this gun I have on my pocket. They'll keep about two days. That'll prove he was the murderer, and you can let me go. Not until you tell me your name. But I can't, I tell you. You don't know what it would mean to my father to have our names spread across the papers in a case like this. <laughs> oh, that's a new one. If I could only remember. You say your father's a big man. Is he in politics? In a way. You know, you may be giving me the straight dope at that. I've seen your picture somewhere. If I could only remember. It won't fail me now. Maybe you're Frank Desmond's daughter. No, no, no. But I'll get it. Confound that phone. Hello. Say, I'm still in the newspaper business with a deadline to make. Who's the dame? Ain't that sad. Well, choke it out of her. Am I supposed to hold up this edition all night? Listen, Slug, the owner of this paper likes to read it with his morning coffee. Don't disappoint him. Hold on, Harry. I think I... Well, Master Chase, what about that bonus? You already owe me two bonuses and a hat. I don't remember the hat, but you'll get your bonus tonight. Now tell me your name. How much? $250, you parasite. Now give me your name so I can write the lead. Now, what are you laughing at? Are you just bug house? Hang on to your chair, Pop. Here it comes. The gal is none other than Myrna Van Buren, daughter of Titus Van Buren, the owner of our paper. <laughs> what? The owner's daughter? You're crazy. Holy suffering cats, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Keep her there. Guard her with your life. Don't let a soul talk to her. Her old man's out of town. We've got to keep her name out of this. Don't let her talk. Bonus? Your bonus is going to be a sock on the jaw. Hold everything for a complete rewrite on the clocky murder. Destroy those pictures. There wasn't any girl. You certainly made a fine mess of things for me. What will my father think when he finds I've been mixed up with a murder? Uh, I made a mess of things. You spoiled the best story I ever had. The best chance any reporter ever had. Now that you've found out my name, will you kindly unlock that box? I will not. You'll take orders from me, Mr. Reporter, or I'll... You'll do nothing except what I tell you. I'm responsible for you now. I've got to keep you out of the headlines. Ah, there's the newspaper laugh of the year. Hide somewhere. Where? Anywhere. He certainly doesn't talk to himself. Hey, why are you holding them swan, huh? Hey, uh, where's the girl, Bob? Oh, you're crazy. There's no girl in here. Oh, he's holding down on her. Come on, you can't kid us. Oh, no, no, I was on the phone. Honestly. Oh, yeah? Well, if there's yeah, no girl, yeah. why not let us in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what do you think of that? Well, hey, what about in there? Huh? Good idea. Oh, I sure did. Now, listen, after all, oh, how much of the night you get? Walk her up in a mind, haunt you? I listen to you. Oh, I know. Now, listen. Now, what do you think of that? Now, what do you think of that? Come on, you mugs. I hope that's fine. I know where she is. Well, I guess we owe you an apology, but an apology nothing she was here. I got it. She went down that fire escape. She must be in that taxi. Come on. Come on, let's go. Right. You gonna desert me? Gee, I, I thought you'd run out on me. Where were you? The fire escape. I nearly died. Supposing they'd looked up. My dear lady, reporters look up to no one. You could have gone down the fire escape and gotten away from me. Yeah, I could have. But you didn't. Say, those mugs will be back here as soon as they find out you're not in that cab. Come on, we've got to get out of here. But where? I know a place where we can hide. Come on, we'll, we'll get out of here through the basement.
Hello. Be the city editor. This is Johnson, boss. I got a pip for you. The Express is double-crossing us. That Grayson's hiding out a dame that's mixed up in the Clarky murder. Sure, obstructing justice. Burnham, this is our chance to get in right with the police commissioner. I, I don't know who she is. All the dumb clucks. Why aren't you following them? Well, well, I am following them, boss. I I'm phoning you from a taxi cab. You are what? You are fired. Yes, fired! Murphy, take a rewrite on the Clarky Murphy. Why I still let you drag me around like this is more than I can account for. I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Oh, stop squawking, will you? You don't think this is any fun for me. How did you explain my being here to the landlady? I told her you were my own colored mammy and that I'd be perfectly safe with you. By the way she looked at me, I can imagine... Now you do Mrs. Beeman a grave injustice. She thinks ill of no one. She's from a lovely family. Lovely flame. Why, I've only got her son out of jail twice. Why can't I go home? You make an art of being dumb, don't you? Now use your head. Zarius figures you know he killed Clarky. He'll make it his life's work to fix you so you can't talk. Do you follow me? You have been rather decent, haven't you? You could have quit your job and given your story to another newspaper. I could have at that, and for big money, too. But you didn't. Well, everybody's got to be a sap sometime in his life. Do something about that, will you? You forgot your hat and coat. I'm not going anyplace. Staying right here. Yes, but uh, in another apartment. Wrong again. This was the only vacancy. But I can't spend the rest of the night here alone with you. And I can't leave. But now don't start worrying about my reputation. Yours. And remember, your reputation depends on my keeping you away from those reporters. I can't hide here forever. You won't have to. Tomorrow morning, while they're still asleep, I'll see if I can't clean up this whole case. <coughs> if, if, if you please, you'll find I'm not such a tough jailer. Now, can you suggest anything we can do besides argue? Prisoners are supposed to be fed, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Soup and bread. I'm not particular. That's fine. We haven't any. I know. I'll try my wiles on Mrs. Beeman. What would you like? Ham and eggs? I cook cold cuts better. The ham is bacon, the bread is two days old, and the eggs, well, we'll hope for the best. Can I burn the toast for you? Certainly. Make yourself useful while I uncork the eggs. Well, here goes. Eureka! And me, a newspaper man. If the gang could only see me now. Here I am, slaving away in the kitchen. That's all I do all day long. Cook and wash, cook and wash. How about rescuing heiresses from gangsters? Yeah, and ruling the best story I ever had. Don't forget that. I won't. We'll retire to the drawing room, as they say in the books. You hardly touched a thing. I told you I wasn't hungry. <clears throat> Sleepy? Terribly. It's all made up for you. Thanks, Porter. I'll stay right here. Suit yourself. What's the matter? Don't you like this hat? Wanted excitement.
You know, I would probably never have got that bonus anyhow. He already owes me two. You stupid incompetent! Why did you let any of them get away? Why didn't you run them all in? I did, sir. That is all I could. Oh, yes? How about Zarius? He was there. You bet he knows something. I didn't see him. The only ones I let go was the, the press men. <sighs> That's just it. You imbecile! Don't you even read the papers? You let Grayson walk off with the murderers. Oh, no, sir. The lady with Grayson was uh, a reporter on the Express. He told me so himself. Uh, she was a criminal. If she didn't kill Clarkie herself, she... she saw it done. I... I did my best. You did your best to make the police force ridiculous again. You know, Maya, I think perhaps you are the leak I've been looking for. Uh, me? Oh, Commissioner, how could you? Maybe I better find Grayson. Maybe. No maybe about it. I'm going to make an example of him. I'll put him in jail for life for aiding and abetting a criminal. Oh, yes, sir, you're right. It's... it's terrible. Well, then you better get on the job. Find Grayson and this girl and bring him in. Handcuffed to you. Yes, sir. Mm. You heard me. I said handcuffed. Yes, sir. I'll think it over and... Uh, handcuffed. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, no, 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 Wake up. Huh? Huh? Oh, that's all. That's just Mrs. Beeman. I told her to send the morning papers up bright and early. Oh, oh. Listen to the Express. The murderer made his escape while scores of respectable citizens were arrested. For the third time in recent weeks, murder has been committed and no arrests made. Will the voters allow Frank Desmond to continue his record of inefficiency, or will they demand his recall? Oh, will that burn Desmond? I slip you out and Chase blames him. <laughs> Holy smokes, get a load of the front page of Johnson's Why, paper. You? Robert Grayson, reporter for the Morning Express, acting under the orders of Harry Chase, City editor is said to be concealing the alleged murderers from the police. It is unfortunate that Mr. Chase should hamper the hard-working police commissioner in his efforts to control... How do you suppose they found out? I don't know, but it must have been Johnson. It's his paper. Well, they don't know who I am yet. No, but they will. I can't keep you here forever. I've got to call Chase. Hello, Sadie. Let me have the boss, pronto. Morning, Master Chase. I've seen your ad in the paper. Grayson, where are you? I've been phoning your apartment all night. Oh, we moved. We didn't like it there. No room for the kitty. I'm in no mood to play. Why'd you leave? 
The reporters were hot on my trail. I had to beat a retreat. Anyone know where you are? No, not yet. You've got to help me clean up this case before the police identify the girl. Impossible. They've got a good description of her and the dragnet's out for you. The police will have you both in a couple of hours. We're sunk. Oh, no, we're not. We've got two hours to find Zarius and pin the whole thing on him completely. What with? I've got his gun with one bullet missing. The slug he put in Quacky will match up. What's more, I've still got his fingerprints on the gun. I'll find him. Ah, you won't have a chance. He's probably taking it on the lam. Oh, not Zarius. He's too smart to leave town after a killing. Why would plant suspicion right on him? Can you figure his logical hideout? Well, let me see. Last spring, he came back from the races at Havana with a French secretary. That's all I need to know. We'll have a picture of him in the files. I'll look her up and call you back. What's your number? Brooke, 4142. Get me half a dozen men. Drop that and get into the files. Get a hold of the for me. Hey, Pete, come here. Immigration service. I'd like to find out if there's a woman in this country illegally. Police headquarters, give me the record clerk. Retail Merchants Credit Association. Rainey Gagnon, born Paris, 1912. Came to U.S. with Zarius, 1932. Admitted after trouble with immigration authorities. Appeared one season on stage. Twice on police blotter for drunk and disorderly. Retail credit rating good. Address 1416 North Drive. 1416 North Drive. Fast work, Harry. Now I'll get that smart boy. Now I'm off on the gale. Sit tight till you hear from me. Oh, please don't go. I'm afraid for you. You've gotten into enough trouble through me. Zarius is dangerous. He might... Well, somebody's got to get you out of this jam. I seem to be elected. Oh. I'll grab a taxi. Uh -uh. You can't. I won't let you have any money. Oh, but look, that watch you're holding is worth 30 bucks. All right, I'll steal a car. Here, wait. That makes six dollars you owe me. Madam, you're supporting me in a manner to which I have not been accustomed. Well, when a reporter is willing to risk his life to keep a girl out of the papers... That's news. When a girl promises she'll never forget him for his kindness. That's... Pretty swell. Fourteen sixteen North Drive. Step on it. Uh, uh, what's that number again? 1416 North Drive. Yes, sir. Hey, here's your change. Keep it. Oh, thanks. Uh, 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 uh. Not all of it. Hello, police headquarters? Give me Lieutenant Meyer. Hello, Hugo. No, there's no reward up. But I'll pay you ten dollars myself just to lay my hands on it. Huh? 1416 North Drive, apartment 21. That's fine. I'll see you later. Isn't Winchell. Well, that's one on you. My name isn't Winchell. You're telling me I know who you are and what you did last night. Step in and I'll see what I can do to satisfy your curiosity. Now, what did you do with the girl you squeezed out of Clarkie's? Being held for questioning at headquarters. No lie to me, you're hiding her out. Where is she? There's no use you're getting hard-boiled, Zarius. I know what she's got that you want, and I came here to make a deal with you. I might even guarantee to get the gun back for you. That is, if you'll be reasonable. You're going to tell me where she is? Well, I'm an old friend of hers. In fact, uh, I'm that way about her. I wouldn't hurt her. Not much you wouldn't. With a murder trial staring you in the face, and she the only witness. Cut it. Where's the girl? I'll give you just one minute to sing. I didn't bring my music. Your time is going fast. And yours will come. You got a chance to beat that Clarky rap. He might even have pulled a gun on you so you could plead self-defense, but with me. <laughs> My boss knows exactly where I am and why. What's more, he knows I'm unarmed. You pull that trigger and you'll take a rap you'll never beat. Now, I'll worry about that. I can't do you any good dead, but alive, I can help you. Now, you won't live long if you don't. I will. That gun's the only evidence you've got. I'll get it for you. Where is it? Come with me and I'll give it to you. 
Trini, see who that is. Who is it? The landlord. I want the rent. Say, why don't you pay your bills when I give you the money? But, Phil, I pay the rent. Uh -huh. Well, get rid of him. Or I take care of this monkey. Tell me. I'm looking for a man you got in here. There is no man in here. Yeah. Go. Hey, you go wait. Make a suck out of me, will you? I'll show you. Hey, you go listen. Tell it to the commissioner. He wants you for hiding a criminal and obstructing an officer in the performance of his duty. Hey, Hugo, you're making a mistake. Maloney, there's another charge, too, if this gentleman wants to make it. Holding a gun on a citizen to keep him from turning you in. But it's his gun. Aye, if I had. I'd make charges now, officer, only I have an appointment. I'll drop in at headquarters later. Anything you'd like, sir. Thank you. Sorry to trouble you. <laughs> now, come on. Wait, Hugo, go. listen. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Good day, officer. Pack my things. I'm going to beat it. But I swear it, that's the man who killed Clarky. Oh, don't give me that. It was a girl. You better think up a new trick. All right, Hugo. I admit it. It was all a stall just to protect her. You mean that one in there? Why, certainly she's the girl I slipped out of Clarky's last night. But it couldn't be. She looks entirely different. Oh, with a lot of makeup and that wig she's got on, nobody would recognize her. But why didn't you tell me in the first place? Well, you wouldn't let me. Well, what did I do? You heard him say he had an appointment. That's your only chance. Give me his gun. I'll take care of him while you get her. All right, tough guy. Here's that gun I promised you. Get in. I get you back at headquarters. Oh. Wait a minute. I forgot something. What? The handcuffs. Oh. Quiet a minute, will you Where please? Let me go. You should have concocted a more plausible story, young lady. But it isn't a story, it's the truth. All accused persons say that. But they're not all guilty. Well, they are with me till they're proved otherwise. But Darius is a dangerous man, I tell you. Unless you send help immediately, Bob may get killed. Do you want that? No. Then send for him. You will thank me later. What was that address? 1416 North Drive. Send a riot squad to 1416 North Drive. Pick up Pilzarius and anybody who's with him. Especially reporters. Oh, thank you. I'm holding you for murder. I don't care. If they'll only save him. Sergeant Duffy on the phone. I'll see him later. But he says that... Uh, I don't care what he says. Tell him I'm busy. Now then. Why did you hide from the police? Because of publicity. My father is... Didn't you know that you couldn't possibly avoid that? I do now. I don't care what he says. I can't even walk in there. Oh. Myrna. Oh, are you all right? Sure I am. How did you get here? Did Desmond... Van Buren came here voluntarily to tell a story and to get police help for you. You told him about yourself. You took the rap to help me? You're under arrest. For what? For aiding you, a fugitive. But she hasn't done anything. I'm sorry, sir, but Sergeant Duffy insists. Tell him to stop bothering me. <laughs> I got the murderous commissioner and uh, handcuffed just like you told me. He is crazy. I am not the murderer. Don't believe a word she says, commissioner. She's in disguise. And you see that? <laughs> That's a wig. Ouch! I'm so glad you came, came Lieutenant. Yes. Yeah. This is Miss Van Buren, the lady you were looking for. I'm pleased to know you, Miss Van. What is this? Can I be wrong all the time? I don't see why not. You know, 
My, I'd be very grateful if they transfer you to the fire department. The fire? I wouldn't like that. I can't stand fires. Get out of here. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Commissioner, I have forgot to tell you. Uh, I've lost the key. Oh, get out. Yes, sir. Well, well, well. And wait till you see tomorrow morning's express. Your smart coppers drag in an innocent woman handcuffed while the girl you really want has to walk in your own office to be arrested. That's one story you won't have the pleasure of writing. You'll be in jail. Yeah, but we'll chase have fun with that story. I don't care what the newspapers say about me. No, what about the mayor? You'll have a hard time explaining to him why you didn't find Zarius and arrest him for the crime. If I've made a mistake, I'll take my medicine. No, no, now wait a minute, Commissioner. We're both going about this the wrong way. What's the use of our fighting? I'm glad you realize that. Nevertheless, it's my duty to lock you up. But suppose I bring Zarius in with absolute proof that he committed the murder. How can you prove your case against Zarius? By the murder gun, with his fingerprints still on it and in his possession. And if you can do what you say, which I doubt, I'll do the right thing. Shake on it. Now all you have to do is to get Zarius, bring him here with proof. I don't have to get him, Commissioner. He's downstairs in cell number four. I brought him along with me. I put the gun back in his pocket, too, so he wouldn't lose it again. Well, give me Duffy right away. He's on the phone now, trying to get you. Duffy, have you got Zarius downstairs? But why didn't you tell me before? I've been trying to tell you for the last ten minutes, but you wouldn't talk to me. They just took the fingerprints off the gun that killed Clarkie. They belong to Zarius. Young man, I'll give you credit for one thing. Loyalty. That's great in any job. Young lady, if I were your father, I'd make this young man city editor. I'll certainly speak to Dad about it. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank you, and if he accepts my suggestion, I'll lift the bat against the press. Oh, thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, and congratulations. You'll like my dad, he's a grandson. Yeah, he should be a good egg if he's your old man. Taxi! Goodbye, Duchess. Aren't you coming with me? No. Oh, I see. I'm not news anymore. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, no, I don't mean that. It's, it's because you're Myrna Van Buren. Oh, I, I'm just a reporter. You're a star reporter to me. Hey, wait! You too? Sure, why not? Did you think you had an exclusive?